We are back, finally myth-busting and testing some brand new free skin glitches, exploits, and creative maps here in Fortnite to see if there's any working ways for you guys to get some free skins as a glitch. And it's the perfect time to be finding some of these working glitches and maps because if we head over here to the shop, you guys can see Miles Morales and Spider-Man 2099 have finally released in the item shop first thing this morning. So you guys already know, we'll be sending Miles Morales as today's gift. If you guys want to receive a gift in a future video, all you have to do is drop a like, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, and also leave your epic usernames down below so I can add you and send you the gift. Oh, look at this, man. Someone just sent us a gift as we were sending ours, so let's see what we got. We got a gift from Bionic Flame who sent the Eureka emote. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. And a big shout out to everyone using code NERB2 in the Fortnite item shop. You guys make these videos possible, so thank you so much for your support. It really helps me out. So for the first glitch map that we are going to be heading to here, this is the island code. So it's 52693960 and it should be taking us to the tower takedown map, which actually has a bunch of secrets involved that are going to give us some free skins if the vending machines and glitches actually work. So now that we're here, let's go ahead and just start the game ASAP. There's no reason to wait around. Oh. Oh, there we go. Okay, I was like, maybe it won't let us insta-start. That'd be kind of annoying. So now that we've spawned in here on the massive blip, you guys can see we are going to discover a few secrets here that'll actually give us to a room with free skin vending machines. That is obviously the end goal. So we need to gear up. If you guys look at this box, this is where you will get all of your weapons. There are a few NPCs that are guarding these secret vaults and keys and everything. So we're going to have to find these guys and we are going to have to take them out. All right, so first things first, we just need to walk out here, open to the main room you guys can see here is the NPCs well there's one at least we basically just need to make our way onto the other side of the blimp but I want to take some of these guys out for oh that's not good I did not mean to fall down this far boys we need to get back up top come here NPC Boom, there we go. All right, and just in case you guys didn't realize, you also have a lot of health. So if you die to an NPC, you pretty much got to be a bot. All right, we take them out. And now that we are over here on the opposite side of the blimp, you guys will notice there is three different monitors with orange screens. You're gonna wanna come over here to the one on the left-hand side that actually shows the blimp, and you'll realize that there is a disable defenses button here that we need to go ahead and activate, and once you do that, it'll give us a key that is gonna come in handy later on during this glitch. But now that we've gotten the key from this site right here, we can actually go ahead and drop down a few levels and start to head to the bottom of the blimp. And you guys will realize once you get down here, there could be some more NPCs. So just be sure to be high alert at all times. I don't really know the location of all of them, but I do see all of these random footsteps. But you want to make sure you drop down to the third level here and find yourself at this door. And you're going to want to go ahead and go right through this door. And once you go through this door, you're actually going to want to be dropping down to this section right here. You will have to be a little bit careful because if you fall, you're going to go all the way down to the ground there. And it's going to be pretty difficult to get yourselves back up. But you want to get down to this level right here here and go through this door right here and we have another NPC boom that guy is a bot get out of here and now we are in the main control room of the blimp which is where we want to be you'll know you actually are in the right spot if you can see an NPC and there's also this little button right here for the key which is where the key actually comes into play so let's go ahead and use this real quick to get computer access and once you've done this it'll actually allow you to get the land the blimp prompt here so it's actually a really cool map because you need to do all these steps in a specific order or else it won't work so let's hop into the captain seat real quick and let's go ahead and land this thing and you guys will realize that once you land it it's actually going to teleport you to an entire new area of the map we are now no longer on the blimp but we are in like this big box over here where there is going to be some more npcs so once you spawn in this room you are not going to want to go through this door all you need to do is come over here and actually drop down to this section of the blimp where you will be greeted with a another npc if you guys hit your headshots they should be pretty easy to take out and now that we've dropped down here we're just going to come down down the stairs real quick and you want to make sure that you just keep going down the stairs till you're one more level down and let's just see I hear a bunch of NPCs where are you punks at but once you come down the second flight of stairs so you come down two stories from where you actually spawn 
on, there will be this little air vent right here that you actually want to walk into. And then once you walk into it, there's this little drop down section where you can actually drop down and you will find a little secret room here. Now, you guys will notice there is a floating llama coin here. And again, just like the key, you need to make sure that you grab this thing. It's going to be very, very important. So let's go ahead and pick that up. We can open our inventory just to see that we uh, make sure to have it. And now that we picked it up, we can actually open up this vent that we dropped down through and head this way, which you guys can see there already is a bunch more NPCs out in this area. So we got to take them out real quick. Get the heck out of here, brother. Oh God, this guy sees us. Where's he shooting at us from? Oh, he's got the high ground. All right, we're just going to bum rush this dude real quick. We're going to make easy work of him, but we just got to make sure we take him out. Yep, we'll be seeing you. So now that we've taken this guy out, we're just going to want to go ahead and keep pushing forward here. There is going to be an, another NPC that I didn't even realize was up here. And before you go any further, I know it looks like you're supposed to go through this door, but there is a little shortcut here. After you take out the second NPC, you can actually drop down here and crouch underneath this metal. And then once you're in this room with all these different openings, all you need to do is drop down through this right here. And if you see the massive drill, the massive IO drill, then you know you're in the right spot because you want to make sure that you go through this main entrance right here right underneath the imagined order logo that's on the wall so that's kind of how you can tell uh, the right way that you're actually heading so now that we make our way in here we can slide under here one more time and we're gonna want to go ahead and go through this door right here which will take us to the final vault that we actually need to open and this is where that coin that we picked up earlier comes into play if you did not pick that up then there is literally no way to get on the other side of the vault where the good glitch is actually going to be happening so let's just open up this vault real quick i hear another npc he might be in here somewhere i'm not really sure uh it sounds like he's above us but now that we've entered the vault it'll take you to the secret vending machine layer where we literally just have to wait a few seconds for this to disappear and as you guys can see there is a crown wins vending machine that has uh, the wrong logo on it there is the bonjamin skin that we can get for free which is actually my first time ever seeing this skin on a vending machine and then there's also a free gift vending machine as well that again i've literally never seen before so this map is a lot different than the other free skin glitches we've tested so first things first First, we'll go ahead and try to claim the Bonjamin skin here. It says, congrats, Bonjamin skin will be added to your account in a few hours, which is pretty cool. And let's see what it says when we claim the free gift as well. You will receive a random surprise, so be sure to check your locker. Okay, that sounds actually really interesting. And let's see what the crown win says. 999 crown wins have been added to your account. All right, well, I don't think that's going to be true, but I guess we could check all three of these things. So hopefully we get this guy, and hopefully we get a pretty dope free reward from this as well. But I'm not really going to get my hopes up too high just yet. So now that we we've completed this there's nothing else to do except go back to the main menu and see if this map and glitch actually worked so here is the moment of truth boys did we get anything so let's go over to our locker real quick and we should get at least one new item and of course bonjamin said it would take a few hours to send but i'm not really sure how that's gonna work but it says we do have some new items here so if we go to recent okay so we have uh the mall's malice which we got for free because we completed challenges and then we have this who uh who we actually got gifted this in the beginning of the video. So it does not look like any of those are a part of the free gift. We do have new back blings as well, though. Let's see. Oh, I don't know, man. Maybe this back bling is what we got for free from the vending machine. I'm not really sure. I don't even know where or how I got this, but we'll take it. All right, let's just see if the crown thing worked. How many, how many do we have? Hey, that's it. Oh man, the vending machine said it would give us 999. So I had to test and see if it worked. Dude, I only have eight this season, man. I have been slacking. And just because Miles Morales is finally out here, and I know it's a hype skin. I wanted to send one more gift in this video before we end it off. We usually only send one per video, but I wanted to switch it up and send two today since you guys have been showing a lot of support on the channel recently. So let's go ahead and send the Spider-Man 2099 skin for the second gift since we sent Miles as the first. Again, Again, if you guys want a chance to get gifted in future videos, make sure you are subscribed with noties turned on, drop a like on all the videos, and leave your epic usernames down in the comments below. The most people that are active and have noties on will have the best chance of getting added and sent a gift. That's all I got for you guys today. If you enjoyed and want to see me do more myth busting videos like this one, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new, and let me know down below if there's any glitches or exploits or creative maps that we should be testing out here in a future video. I'd love to see your guys' feedback. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy, my friends.